We are right now in occupied East Jerusalem, a neighborhood of Sheikh Jarrah. Yesterday, there were minor clashes between Palestinians and Israeli settlers and Israeli security forces in this place. Uh, but it looks like the situation is calm. It didn't go as people were expecting. And after the Friday prayers, both in occupied East Jerusalem and occupied West Bank the towns, uh, we were expecting some Palestinian protests and also we were expecting some clashes. As of now, the situation is still calm in occupied East Jerusalem and the other cities of occupied by West Bank and also the spillover effect that because of the tensions in Occupy West Bank looks like getting eroded in Occupy East Jerusalem because there were some positive messages coming from um, Palestinians living in Shofar refugee camp. Israel actually has imposed some siege-like situation around the Shofar refugee camp because of an, a deadly attack that took place on Saturday and that after that attack an Israeli soldier was killed by a Palestinian named um, Odia Tamimi, 22-year-old Palestinian and Israelis believe that that person lives actually in Shofar refugee camp. That's why they circulated the area. But but yesterday they lift this lifted the siege-like situation and Palestinians responded positively too. But they said that they are just lifting their civil disobedience is what they called. But they are going to reassess the situation and according to Israelis' behavior they will reimpose this this civil obedience and they're going to see the situation until uh, Tuesday. This is what they say. While mm -hmm. the situation is calm in occupied East Jerusalem, but in, the, in occupied West Bank, the situation is still uh, tense, as according mm -hmm. to reports, as you have said, two Palestinians were killed today uh, during the uh, during an operation in occupied West Bank by Israeli security forces.